What's up my friends? Welcome back to another vlog. Uh, and here's something that I was thinking about today guys, because I'm always thinking about stuff, but uh, apparently I never have enough time to vlog. Not quite enough time to vlog anyway. Um, but what I was thinking about today is, um, you know, I, I was, I'm just watching Stranger Things here. I, I just actually finished watching, uh, binge watching Stranger Things, uh, both one and two, of course. Uh, brilliant, brilliant series. I was very, very touched by it, very, very moved by, this, by uh, the brilliant writing and the execution and the acting is just so outstanding and the, the story is great. Everything is just so fantastic uh, about this. Uh, a show, definitely my new favorite, and I'm starting it again right now, starting, starting to watch it again. Um, but what it got me thinking about was, like, you know, writing and stuff like that, and actually, like, being known for a writer and, like, a, a, you know, a TV show creator, like, a movie creator. Um, and basically, it, it, it's like, it's like, you know, why do you have to live or, like, be born in L.A., right, to be famous or, like, achieve some level of recognition? And, of course, you know, that that's a gross generalization, you know, that's, you know, of course, people get recognized from all over, over the United States. But it seems to me that a majority of the people are just kind of, like, from the area. And you'll hear this, you know, if you watch, like, movie talk shows, like, you know, like, uh, like Collider, like, you know, their movie talk show and stuff like that, um... Which includes, you know, uh, their their cast, all the people that work on Collider and stuff like that. You know, they they've all been working in the in the movie industry and in the film industry, in background on uh, sets and stuff like that. Just working in the industry, they have their toes in the industry in some way, and that's really how they get recognition. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know, writers for famous shows, even like Stranger Things. You know, these guys started out as writers on other shows, but it was only because they were you know in California. They were were in the area, they were in LA actively meeting people and making connections and stuff like that. And while, um, well, well, of course we can understand that because they're in the area. So, so you'd want to get people that are already in the business, you know, so people with that background. So it makes sense. But what that logic also suggests is that it's almost like talent doesn't exist anywhere else in the United States. It's like, you know, why do you have to be around LA? parents, right, moving their children to LA, you know, moving their children to California so that they can audition and stuff like that. Why? The, the talent already exists in whatever state they're from. There it is. You know, you can find it. It's there. You know, it, it, it's almost nonsensical that people are having to go to this mecca just in order to be, like, recognized. And, um, like, just like I was saying before, you know, you have to, it's almost like you have to be in the business already. You, you already have to be in the film business in some way, like working background on a movie or something like that, just to get yourself uh, in, in the door. And, you know, or, or, or just to eventually become a writer. And this, this is not, you know, uh, like, like a, a conspiracy theory or, or something like that. That's the truth. It, it, it's just like that's where other writers and other creators come from is if they're already in the business. It's like if you don't have connections already, you really can't get anywhere. And that's just, it, it's just so nonsensical to me. It really is because... Um, you know, Hollywood will have you believe that, oh yeah, sure, you know, you can, if, if you write scripts or something like that, like, you can just send it into Hollywood. And that's true, you can. You can write scripts and send them into Hollywood and stuff like that. But most of the time, they just kind of sit on desks, don't they? they? They just don't get recognized because Hollywood already knows what they want to do. They already know the movies that they want to they want to make. It only takes that special script, you know, may, may, just maybe you'll get recognized. Maybe your script might be just good enough for a callback or something like that. Um... And it just, it, it's strange to me that, you know, it's almost like they're not looking anymore. Like, L.A. is, like, the only place that they look. It's like, they always look for, for you know, child actors that are born in L.A. and stuff like that, and they're already in the business. They, they go right into the business. And when they're, when they're looking for new writers or new show creators, it's always from people around, like, the area. It's always from people are around L.A. that are already, like, in the business and stuff like that. Well, what about independent writers? You know what I'm saying? Like, what about, what about people who... Um, Maybe you're like self-publishers or something like that that don't have any plans to move to LA. It's like you know, I've I've lived my time in California. Will will I visit it again? Definitely. I, I plan to visit California 
uh, a lot, definitely, uh, for sure. It's one of my favorite places to go. I love California, San Diego, and even Los Angeles is great, right? But I don't plan on moving there. I don't plan on moving to LA. I plan on living in Maine my entire life. So what are you, what are you guys gonna do for me? It's like, I got fantastic stories. I'm about to self-publish, uh, you know, all, all of my, uh, or I shouldn't say all of my works, but like, you know, my main masterpiece, you know, and uh, I plan on publishing more. You know, I, I plan on making more. I'm always writing scripts. I have ton, tons of ideas, right? But I don't have connections. I'm not in LA already. Well, that's no fault of my own. I, I don't want to go there. I, I, I live in Maine. But but my I can't get noticed because I'm not in the area. You see what I'm saying? It's like there's there's like this disconnect there. It's like what like why do I have to be there to be noticed? I'm here. Just notice me as I am. Just notice me as I am here. It's like the problem is that I don't think that you know we'll just call it Los Angeles as as the one mecca where everything happens. I don't think that Los Angeles right is scouting anymore. They're not scouting anymore. They're just cherry picking from around the area. And that's what makes me so angry. Is that they're like you have all of these talented writers and creators and storytellers all over the United States. Go look for them. You know what I'm saying? Ask people to submit their stories. Do you have a story idea? Do you have a story idea? Do you have ideas? You don't even have, have to have a complete script. Do you just have a skeleton of an idea with concepts that we can go with, that we can sit down and, and talk to you and listen to you? Yes, I do. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but but there is no place like that. Um, I you know I suppose I suppose YouTube used to be uh, the idea, maybe maybe the idea behind that kind of a place before it turned into a circus, and then no one could really get any recognition anymore. Um, but that's not the point. Maybe there should be something else like YouTube. Where where are the websites that are like actively asking writers to submit things? I'm not, I'm not talking about Reddit. I'm not talking about vlo uh, blogging and stuff like that. I'm talking about Hollywood run industries that are looking, actively looking for brand new writers to submit scripts that don't live in the Los Angeles area, that are not a part of the business, but are just great storytellers, right? You, you have to connect us somehow. You know, I mean, and why is there this, this disconnect? You know, why is there this, uh, why do we have to live there? We don't have to live anywhere anymore, do we? You know what I'm saying? Everything is connected over the internet. We, we Skype with each other. Uh, we, we have video call on our phone now. You know what I'm saying? We don't physically need to be anywhere anymore. So why is there still this disconnect? Why is there still this inner circle going on here in, in LA and the Hollywood area? Stop cherry picking from just around LA. All of your best writers aren't going to be in the Los Angeles area. I'm not saying that there aren't talented writers. There are plenty of talented writers in the Los Angeles area that are getting work. And, and, and that's good. But guess what? There are thousands and thousands more visionaries all over the United States and all over the world, for that matter, matter that might want to come and write American cinema as well. You need to reach out to us. There need to be active platforms where write writers that, that just even have ideas can just share them with Hollywood executives, with people that work in Hollywood, so, so that you can just kind of like, you know, just send an email or just like a resume to someone and just be like, look, like, this is who I am. I got all these ideas for the stories. You know, I do want to see a couple of skeletons of stories that I wrote, a couple of ideas, right? Where is that outlet? Where is that outlet for all of these visionaries in the United States, you know? Um, something that we have to look into, something that was on my mind uh, this morning, and I'm interested to hear from you guys because I know there's a lot of people out there that know obviously tons more than I do, right? Are those, are those outlets available to, to people? Do those places exist? Am I, am I just not looking into it enough? Like, you know, are there, is that availability there? Or are, does this need more uh, questions raised? Is this something that, that we should all be concerned about, especially if we're writers uh, and, and creators? Is this something that we should, this inner circle of LA, should we be concerned about that, that we're never going to get in there unless uh, we're in there? <laughs> we, you, you can't get in unless you're already in, you know what I'm saying? So, um... Yeah, so that's going to do it for today's vlog, guys. You know, of course, leave all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the great white void. And I'll see you back either tomorrow or maybe this afternoon for another vlog. Until then, guys, as always, take care, and I'll see you later.